What's going on everybody? This is Delmer and welcome back to my channel and today I want to give you a demo and a walkthrough of how the HoloLens 2 feels like. I want to walk you through the experience. We're going to be looking at the menu and going to be interacting with windows, moving things around. We're going to be using our hands with hand tracking. I want to show you how this works and how we can position all of those different elements in my office, which is going to be a development office setup. I want to show you how we can get more screens as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the way that you interact with it is if you want to open the main menu, you can look at this area right here on my hand. I can do a pinch and it's going to open up a menu. I can go back and then basically select with my fingers what I want to select or I can hide it again. I can also use my left hand if I wanted to. Another way that I can also do it, let me do this one more time, is I can just touch it. And if you touch it, it'll open it up. And if I touch again, it'll basically go away. Let's try it out one more time. You guys, you guys can see that it opened it up. If I use my hands, which you can notice that I'm using hand tracking to do this, I can also hover over all the different applications and select it. So in this case, I have Edge open. Let me go ahead and close it. So I can just tap on that. I can bring my menu back in and I can do, if I wanted to look at all the icons and all the applications, I can do this. If I wanted to scroll, I can just pinch and basically do a gesture to look at the other apps. Let's go ahead and go back. So if I wanted to go back, you know, I have my selection. Uh, both of the hands work. So you can see that I also have lasers and I call them lasers. They look, they kind of look like ray cast, but I can also tap on anywhere in my area. And you're going to see that it's basically doing, you know, a detection of the room that I'm on, which is really powerful because if you need to start, you know, placing different things, for instance, if I go ahead and I have a couple of holograms in here, so I have a cactus. I also have a 3D environment in here. Let's say that I wanted to place that, maybe move it a little bit further. So I can just, you know, pinch. And you're gonna see that I have kind of like a handle tool that allows me, and it's smart enough to know, I think they're called solvers. So it's smart enough to know where I can position that 3D object. I can also do that one if I go back here. I bring it, I'm gonna walk back, bring it to me, and then I can go forward and try to just position it. Let's try. Maybe position it right there. I think that that works. Or I can get closer to it and also do, you know, a pinch gesture to basically position it in place. So, so this is really powerful. Other things that you can do as well. So let's say that I wanted to resize this cactus because to me it's too big. Maybe I want to make it smaller or larger. I think that's the smallest size. So let's make it a little larger. You can see that I can make it larger just by grabbing one of the edges. As you use your hands and you approach, you're gonna see that the handles become blue. That means that those handles are active. So if I grab these ones, for instance, I can do rotation. If I grab this one, I can do resizing. And then basically all the elements that are 3D are going to work that way. For windows though, like this window that I have right here, if I were to wanted to move that window, I can just move it around and can basically, you know, rotate and it's going to, it's going to move. Another cool thing about windows is because it's a special area, right? You, you saw that I could do this and it's basically going to detect the wall. So the windows are cool because they're snapped to the wall. It's smart enough to know that, okay, there's a wall, so I'm going to place myself there. Another cool thing that I can do with windows is I can make it really large, right? Like in this case, this is a 3D viewer. And if I wanted to scroll down, I can scroll down by just doing a pinch. I can also, you know, move it around. Maybe I don't like it. I don't like it there. Maybe I think it's too big. So I'm just going to, just going to go ahead and place it right there. Or simply, we can just go ahead and go back here and just put it where we had it, which is was right here. And I can just resize it and just put it right in place. And we can just, or I can just place it. And just place it right, let's place it right there. I think that's fine. Other things that I can also do with this is I'm used to getting my monitors ready, right? And you have to screen, but let's say that you wanted to work with the HoloLens. You have this calendar here. So this is one of the applications that you can access through the main menu. And the cool thing with this is, okay, now that I have my calendar available, I can see, you know, which days see Easter is coming. So I can select Easter and see what's, you know, what day it is, so it's day four. So it's something that I can look at at all times. If I wanted to make it smaller or if I wanted to, maybe I wanted to walk around my house and have it follow me because I have a busy agenda or I can simply just close out of it because I don't really want to look at it. Other things that I have in here as well is I have this, you know, it's kind of, it's kind of like an architecture 
a map document that I wanted to place there. It just looks cool. I also have a couple of the, you know, I have the earth there with the moon surrounding it and then a couple of different objects. The other objects that I also show you that were really cool. So let's say that you wanted to, you know, move this object and these ones are animated. So I could just do a selection. I can also, and you're going to see that the, the creature is basically using the bicycle in my room and he knows about the area. So we can also play, I'm also going to play the shark animation. Another thing that I can also do is I can put the sharks in the middle of my room. And the cool thing with this is he knows that we are on the floor and it just makes it look a lot more real. We have a shark coming up, which looks super cool. And it's detecting the flat surface. So that's why it's, you know, when I try to move it, if I try to try to move it beneath the floor, it won't let me do that. Another thing that I can also do is let's say that we wanted to navigate with Microsoft Edge. And what I'm going to do with this one, I'm just going to go ahead and put it right here and let's go ahead and have it follow me. So now I have this window that is following me everywhere I go. And because I'm Googling, I need to, I need to search for something. So let's go ahead and bring in the keyboard. So you can see that we have a full virtual keyboard. I can type in by just, you know, touching on each one of the keys. So I'm going to go ahead and do a stack. We can do a stack overflow. And what I can do here is I can close it. And let's go ahead and select it one more time. You're going to see that beneath it, it's, you know, an autocomplete. I'm going to go ahead and do that because I don't want to type the whole thing. And the window is following me. So I'm just going to tell it not to follow me so that we can see more about it. So if I wanted to select something, let's say that I want to go to the website, it's going to load it, right? And the cool thing with this is now, you know, not only we have, not only we have this loaded, but if I wanted to make it larger, maybe we're doing a collaboration experience. You can see that now I have, you know, Microsoft Edge right there on my fingerprints. So we can go ahead and close it. Another thing that I can also do is we can look at the photos. So if I want to go to the photos app, and in addition to the browser, we can have, you know, our photos in here and I could resize it. Let's say that I wanted to make it really large and I've been thinking photos because I take a lot of videos. So I'm just going to put my photo up in there. And at the same time, you know, I was Googling something. I was looking, uh, I say Googling, but I'm actually using Microsoft Edge. Those are bad programming habits or tech developer habits. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my Microsoft Edge there. I'm going to go ahead and you know, resize it a little bit and then let's go ahead and put it right there. Right. So now we have, you know, or, or photos in here and I can go ahead and scroll. You can see some of the photos that I've been taking just by doing experiences. I can look at, you know, my albums. If I wanted to go and look at albums, it's going to show you what you need to do to create an album. I have my browser there. I also have this little hamburger here that we can, you know, we can play. And I'm going to go ahead and place it right here on the very bottom. Let me go ahead and place it. And this is just an animation for one of those 3D elements that I just loaded. And I can just, you know, move it around if I wanted to. I can also tap on things and that's something that I didn't do before. Just if I wanted to, if I wanted to close that. So a couple more things just to kind of wrap it up. You can go, if you want to look at settings, this is an area that I'm, that I'm looking at a lot. You can look at, you know, different accounts. This is very common on Windows operating systems. If I wanted to look at, you know, going to system and we have, this is Windows holographic for business. So a lot of people ask, okay, Dilmer, is this, is this running on Windows? What is this running on? And this is Windows. It's just a version of the holographic operating system. So you can go into holograms. And it'll tell you, you know, you can, we can remove nearby holograms. We can remove all the different holograms that we have. So those are just some different settings. This is something that I did at the beginning. I did a, an eye calibration. It basically just walks you through calibrating your, your eyes. And that way it's more precise when you're, you know, where you're doing selections. So as you can see, I'm, I'm loading the calibration right now. I'll just do this one pretty quick so that you guys can see how it works. Make sure the visor is pushed fully down and in so you can see all four corners. So it's walking me through the experience. HoloLens for your eyes to ensure the best experience possible. Okay, we'll hit next. Now hold your head still and follow the gems with your eyes. Your HoloLens is calibrated. 
Yeah, we're calibrated. So that's how that part works. So if we wanted to close out of the settings, we can go ahead and close it. Couple of things that if you wanted to try, I would recommend that you look at tips because it's going to walk you through, you know, how to use the experience of uh, manipulating holographic views. Okay, so the last thing that I want to show you is going to be movies and TV. So this is a big deal because, you know, in the future, what I see ourselves doing is just watching, you know, holograms instead of, you know, having TVs in our houses. So now I can have a very large TV there. Let's go ahead and give our TV a little bit more room. So we can move our TV right here because, you know, we want large TV with a flat screen. So it's going to make that giant. So what I can do here is I can explore all the different trailers. Let's go ahead and see how a trailer will look like in, in a holographic view. All right, so that's kind of how that looks. I don't want to play through the whole thing because it looks like that's a scary, kind of a scary, spooky movie. I don't want to have it flagged by, by YouTube. So let me go ahead and close, close out of that. Well, and the last thing that I could check is mail, right? That's something that we do on a daily basis. We check our emails, we check text messages. So I'm going to go ahead and put another screen here so we can have it for my mail. And so if I want to make it a little bigger and maybe extend that right here, so we can see, and um, looks like I got an email from, from Audible. And we can just go ahead and open it. And I could move it, let's move it a little bit more, or we can bring it right here so I can read it. And there we go. If you wanted to scroll, scroll up and down, we can, we can read. I can also, if I wanted to reply to Audible, obviously you wouldn't do that. So, but that's, it gives you the whole functionality of using an email. I can now make it larger Maybe we want to have a wider screen, specifically because this is a side view, right? You're going to have, you don't have a lot of space. And then I can bring it, maybe stretch it on the height. So now this is really cool, right? We have a big screen showing us our email. That's what we want to focus on. And I'm just going to go ahead and close out of that. And I think I'm going to wrap it up. I just wanted to give you a demo of how the HoloLens experience work. If you guys have any questions about this, please let me know in the comments. I'm going to be making more videos about hardware as I get it. I'm, I'm planning to get it to getting uh, HP Revert G2 in the next few days. So just stay tuned because I'm going to be showing a video about that, that one as well. Thank you guys.